It's like everyone has a pair. I, we'll talk about these later, but we, there's a great, if you're ever inside a house and you want to practice, we can talk about sock chakus. Uh, we'll, but we'll bring those up at the end of the class uh, unless someone needs to get a pair. Got now, you want to be able to spread out a little bit with your, your chakras so you don't hit each other. All right. Sensei, your name's first. You want to introduce the class and then we'll get started? Absolutely. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Uh, this is the adult nunchaka class. Um, and I'd like Sensei George Laster to uh, demonstrate some of these techniques um, going through uh, downward figure eight, reverse figure eight, uh, 12 basic strikes, and we'll see where we're at from there. So with that, let's say George. Thank you. Let's just bow in real quick. Uh, just a quick bow. Everyone has a nunchaku. So we're, we're going to work on this. We get started, though, let's warm up our wrist for a second. Uh, just put your wrist out straight, point them to the ceiling, spread your fingers out. And then tuck them in, a little eagle claw, and a stretch them. Do that again. So stretch it out. Eagle claw. Let's do it to the side. Get a little different tendons there. Stretch my palm down, pony my fingers to the ground. Eagle claw. Point your fingers to the ground. Eagle claw. Now pressing to the floor. I don't know if you do your Iron Man pose here with your uh, repulsor rays pointing down, fingers to the forward. Stretch your back, your wrist to a little eagle claw pointing down. Stretch. All right, let's, let's, uh, let's go ahead and do uh, counter cl uh, clockwise. Just kind of do a big circle, a few of those, counterclockwise. All right. So we're gonna get started. I, I, this is a basic class. I think a lot of folks here have some experience with these, but just in case, remember, as you swing these, a key thing is to have your arms straight out. If your arms bent, you're gonna be hitting yourself. Um, uh, so you'd want to make sure as you're swinging, you're not going to hit yourself, right? So you know, the great thing about nunchaku is they're a uh, self-correcting weapon. You will quickly learn that you're doing something wrong. All right. So first, what we're going to do is a forward figure eight. These are going to be essentially uh, forward downward diagonal strikes, starting at the top, coming forward and down. So give yourself some space. Make sure you're not hitting your, your friends or the building. And so just come down. This is the Tambo downward diagonal. And we're going from the right shoulder to the left shoulder. Now, as you do this, right, we're extending out, extending out, reaching for that. Is there, we're not, uh, we're not doing movie uh, nunchakus here. We're trying to reach someone. Now, as we do this, we call this a forward or downward figure eight. So now we're, uh, we'll go ahead and keep practicing. I'm gonna take a look at folks here. Make sure you're reaching out with them. You're trying to get something. Use the length. This is for getting extra distance. Just like the tambo, your other hand can be at your chest and ready. All right, everyone. Wow, this has uh, been a while since I had to do a Zoom class. Let me uh, get this. Why aren't you? Oh, there we go. All right. I'm going to peek in there. Keep going uh, at it. Let me see how you're doing it. Just like tambo, same target. All right, I think I'm at the, I'm getting a lot of skips in my videos. So 
it's hard to see folks. If you have a question, though, please say some. Uh, Connie Gallant, I can't see your video. If you can turn your video on, I can uh, take a look at how you're doing it. So as we're doing, I'm 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 so sorry. Um, sorry, got, it took me a minute to get to the computer. Um, I am in a rural area, and my Wi-Fi is really really spotty. So if I turn on the video, I will lose the whole thing. So I, my apologies. Okay, but I am doing. I am doing it. <laughs> no, that's great. Just ask me a question then, if you get stuck on something. Thank you. I'm I'm Sensei George. Uh, for those who haven't met me, I wasn't a Sensei last time I saw you in person. Well, All right. Hello, Sensei George. So, hey, George. Sensei George, I got a good question. When you're doing yes. the figure eights, how are you? How are you moving your wrist? Like, is your wrist? Do you you do it in tambo style, or you do it? What are you doing with your wrist? Good question. So, now that you've got the basic idea, just like the tambo, you're leading with your your knuckles are leading the strike. But at the center line, you're gonna turn over the wrist to bring it back. So it's down, turning over, down, turning it over. And so as it's coming back to the second half of the swing, your knuckles are on the back side. So coming down, turning over, coming down, turning over. This is to do the flexibility weapon. I know Tambo, some people do it that way. Some people strike all the way through. I want you to Turn, rotate right at the middle, just like we do with our punches. Thank you, Sensei. Sensei George, I'm gonna interject here because I see you going off. I see the direction you're 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 taking this. If I may interject uh -huh. and see what, yes, what the, re, re, the re, excuse me the results you're getting with your students. So um, when you're doing it slow. If you notice, look back here and, and back here, it has a tendency to kind of want to come towards my head for beginners. And that comes kind of close. So can you hear me, George? Yes. You, you can hear me? Okay. So um, if everybody, instead of extending out, I know I'm going in a different direction here, but I want you to keep it tight. I want you to, as if the nunchuck was out of my hands, very similar Wing Chun, okay? That back hand, your reaction hand, you don't know what to do with it, put it on your solar plex. This knuckle on your solar plex. You need to learn how to control the nunchuck first before we start swinging and start making it more three-dimensional, like a Kunu three-dimensional strike. We want to keep that in tight first. We want to learn how to control that in downward figure eight and reverse figure eight. You see where I'm going with that, George? So they That's can control that. It, yeah. the, the difference between the nunchaka and the tambo is it's all in that control in the wrist, whereas I could just put a tambo in your hand and you can strike with it. That flexibility, that uh, fluidity is where your power is going to come from with the nunchaka. Okay, so I guess I would back up to page one instead of page 10 <laughs> on that. Keep that in tight and then go into reverse figure eight. And again, hands similar. Okay, Wing Chun, Wu Sao, Man Sao, Wu Sao. You see where I'm going with that, George? So, do you want them to just keep the hand back here? And then. Well, you got to do something with this hand, right? There you go, Lynn. If you can. Uh, hold more towards the middle, Lynn. It'll make it a little easier for you. The middle, yeah. There you go. There you go. And your string is a little long. So that's going to make it a little floppy. That's a great training tool, Sensei Joe.
Sensei, um, if we're doing this, it changes the hand motion, then it's, is it, it's more of a uh, inner ridge hand then, right? This, uh, I, <laughs> this is in, inner ridge, uh, I'm sorry, outer ridge for the downward and then for reverse. I'm sorry, folks, it's uh, hard to see. Go a little bit more. So go ahead and hold it out there. You're really doing the wrist. There we go. Okay, this is Johnson's school. All right, the, the green belt in the middle. You, all of you folks want to hold it a little more middle grip. Johnson School, middle grip. Hold it like you mean it. Okay, this is not a tennis racket. You want to hold it. It's, it's a club. There you go. There you go. Good. Good. Now swing. A little more relax on your wrist. Like that wrist coming rotating yeah. relax that wrist not so stiff you're going to tire yourself out the nunchaka is a, a flexible weapon you have to be relaxed when you're moving it if you're too stiff you're, you're just going to tire yourself out you're wasting too much energy thank you sensei a little more wrist a little more wrist your wrist getting tired, go ahead and switch to your left hand. It's going to feel really weird to your other hand. You can hold more middle grip, green belt, and white belt on the side. More middle grip. Make it a little easier for you. Watch your right forefinger. White belt on the side. There you go. Little more wrist. What I'm noticing with my, uh, I have five students here. The hard wrist part is this coming back down across the body, really having to turn your wrist more. This one people seem to get this side, not, not turning enough. Make sure you're really turning your palm out so that you can get that Nice swing through. Yeah. Three belt in the middle. Let me see Johnson School. Let me see your uh, left hand again. Green belt in the middle. Johnson School. That's you. There you go. Good. Now you see how fast you are. You'll be faster if you relax your wrist a little bit more. Just relax. There you go. Watch your elbows. Grabbing it. That's what keeps it. Allows you to have the wrist loose. Nice. You're getting it. Both white belts in front, relax your wrist more, relax your wrist. Hold it a little more middle grip, Lynn. So, so Jerry, Sensei, little more um, middle. Do we want to switch hands and practice it with our right and our left? Yes, Sweat, switch on your own count so you don't get too tired on either side. So, so Jerry, could you uh, swing um, in like facing the camera so that I can see your arm facing us in this direction? Yes. Okay. Good. Thank you. So we have 
downward figure eight, you want to have a nice even circle. I think of a triangle, okay? I have a plane going this way, making a circle, and a plane going this way, making a circle, meeting at my center line, and of course, solar plex. And same goes for reverse. Again, like Sensei George said, this is not a kumnu strike. This is just an exercise, learning how to control these sticks first, and then we can expand on the extension, going from little circle to bigger circle, to bigger circle, to a three-dimensional circle, and then we can start turning around and moving with these things. But you gotta start somewhere. Sensei George, comments? Yeah, it, it, they're start, They're getting it here. Um, the, uh, do you wanna start trying to reverse it? Give them a little different wrist yes. motion. Yes, try reverse figure eight. So now you're coming up, coming up. So this is reverse or it's coming upward on the swings in front of you. One thing I'm noticing is the key thing is to make sure you're wrapping that pinky. Don't just have your thumb and finger on it. Have some strength in that pinky so you can be more flexible on your wrist, but still not lose the nunchaku, right? So make sure you got a, you got the whole arm hand gripping. The sensei in the middle in DD school, can you take a step forward, please? So I can see more of your technique. DD school. Black belt in the middle, there you go. Is that jelly? Oh, there, Jelly. Let me see, man. Let me see your. Okay, keep going. Yeah, you've done too. You've okay, done your your um, re reaction hand, Jelly. Stick it to your solar plex. Stick this knuckle. This knuckle on my my thumb right here. I rest that on my solar plex. There you go. Just gives you a place to put your hand. Good. Use that flexibility, Jelly, that you have naturally. And go to reverse. Okay. We're gonna have to get together, Jelly. I'm so glad you're playing with the Nunchaka. Sensei George, please go. Out your elbow a little bit. So, can you bounce? That'll allow you to take a little bit more. That's the wrist flexibility. Sensei George, a little louder. Uh, I'm looking at a few students. Uh, oh, cool. If you're holding real, I have about five students here. Uh, some of them are holding their elbow a little too tight to their chest and they can't turn the wrist enough. So, if you're having trouble getting that wrist turn that we need, that flexibility. You might need to move your elbow out a little bit more so you can keep it a little sure. looser. Sure. Very nice, Joe. Um, while George is making some comments, I'm going to go through a couple of measurements for the nunchaka. So the first measurement, you want that nunchaka as if you're holding a tambo, one and a half, two inches over here, and you want it when you're in demonstration or at attention and you're holding this down, the tip here should just look just like a tambo, the length of a tambo. Second measurement is I like to bring it, again, same distance on either side. You must be able to maneuver this freely. Third measurement, hold it in the middle grip 
And how close do you want this to come to your face? Um, whether you hold it horizontal or vertical, same difference. Third, excuse me, the fourth measurement, I like this a little bouncy over my wrist. Basically that transfers into about three of my middle fingers. And the fifth measurement is kind of get my hand around it comfortably. Okay, just some things to take in mind uh, as an instructor. If you see a student, they're having trouble with their grip. Maybe it's too big. Maybe it's not long enough. Maybe the string is too long, too short. Some things to keep in mind for the students and instructors. George, I think I would start with the um, basic strikes. All right. You want to and extend them out in a small circle, right? Uh, no, the, the, the basic strikes, I would go um, kung, kung Fu strikes. I, I would get them into a, a stance, whether it's a, a short forward stance or a diagonal stance um, and making the strikes, lead, lead them through the whole thing. Oh, like, speed, but beginner. Yeah. I have a lot of green belts here. They, they've done tambo for the boats and have it. It's getting a parallel stance like we do with the tambo. So uh, for those who haven't done tambo yet, you've got your foot here, put the other foot just past your toe, relax the knees, still shoulder width apart. Got to be relaxed. But now we're going to add more extension to this. So let's first start with the downward ones that we were doing first. You feel like you're gonna hit your head, make sure you're not swinging too high around your head. Swing it so that as it comes up, it's hitting the back of your shoulder. Your, your, your shoulders are a nice pad in case it gets a little too far. Let me get some light here. My The sun seems to be moving on me. Hold on a second. So, Swing, swing. Everyone, no one's asked me a question. I was a stay-at-home parent. I'm used to people interrupting me all the time. Please ask questions. All right. So as you're swinging now, now just we're going to do an air break, which means as you swing down, you're just going to let it stop. Let me show you this. This allows us to change direction. So as I swing down, I just let it stop here instead of hitting me in the back of the leg or the back. It's going to swing down and send that force downward. That will stop the. So I'm swinging. Let's do uh, both directions downward and then stop. All right. Start again. Put it above your right shoulder. Swing down, 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 and stop. Try it again one more time. I don't make sure it shouldn't be swinging you and hitting you in the body. Down, 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 down and stop. What this allows us to do now is to change directions and add that reverse or upward one. So now we can go up, 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 side. reset just go ahead and stop your tambo for a second let's start from the downward 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 stop then reverse so i i might have done three sets there two two sets of downward two sets of upward ready down 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 reverse up 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 all right keep doing that just at the end, let it stop in front of you and start from the beginning. We'll add a body break here in a sec. So downward, 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 upward, 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 upward. If it's swinging back and hitting you, 
Make sure you've got your arms extended so you're not hitting yourself in the head. And as you come down, you're sending that force to the floor as an air brake. Make sure you can get a little more swing out there. Okay. What I'm seeing. George, you froze. Sensei Jerry froze for me too. So you might have to pick up till he unfreezes. Oh, there he goes. He's back. You froze there for a moment, Sensei George. Thanks. So what I was saying is uh, one thing I'm noticing to get some of these to get a nice 45 degree angle, some folks are lifting a shoulder, trying to use the shoulder uh, flexibility to compensate for your elbow or wrist. Let's keep the shoulders loose and down. Don't bring them up, try to keep that down. So now let's find a way to go from upwards to downwards. To do that, we don't want to air break here because it could hit us in the head. Instead, we're going to Swing it around our shoulder where we got a nice bouncy shoulder muscles because we do so many push ups in the style, right? So you're going to let it hit your shoulder, the wood of it, not the string. You're going to let the wood hit your shoulder. Uh, let's see, about, I usually get probably an inch or so down. So as my swinging up, it's coming up, hits the shoulder, and I can bounce off that to start going down again. You don't have to be too precise, just don't use your head as a break. So if you get started here, let's just start with that. So starting from our air break, starting with the down, pointing down, bring it up, tap your shoulder with it, bring it back down. Excuse me, Sensei George, I need to interject. Um, yep. Can you hear me okay? Lynn, for example, do you understand the difference between an uh, air break and a body break? Uh, Lynn, I, Lynn, I, I did. did. <laughs> Was that? If you're asking me, Sensei, I thought I did, just uh, making sure we're using something that's safe to bounce off of on our body. Sure. I want to make sure they understand the difference between that. I don't think you under, you explained it clear right. enough. So uh, sometimes an air break is not going to be the, a good way to change direction or stop the nunchaku. We want to use our bodies. And you have seen this a lot in the movies. There's actually two ways we can use it. We can use it to actually stop it. Or we can use it to bounce off our body. And this allows us to change directions. So as we come up, I can swing up, 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 I come back down. And now I'm changing, I'm going forward. Uh, upward, 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 upward. Now I can change direction. Sensei, do you wanna add anything more to that? Yeah, yes. Let, let me show you a little, a, a different way to approach the air break versus a body break. Um, there's a reason <laughs> why you ver work in the vertical plane and you work in the horizontal plane. You want to start in the horizontal plane first because it avoids your head, okay? If you're, you're mo moving this way. So let's experiment with the air break where just naturally, remember when you were a kid and you would swing something like this, just let it drift in air, let the air stop it. I'm gonna demonstrate from the back. Just watch the stick. This is called an air break. It's the most easy way to demonstrate this technique. All the white belts should be able to do this, okay? Holding it in the middle grip, swing it as hard as you can. Don't let it go in the dojo. I see there's some mirrors in there. You're responsible for your nunchaka. Hang on to it. Swing it. I want you to feel the weight of your nunchaka and let it float in air. Let the air stop it. And now try to control that 
where you're able to snap through center line. Excuse me, correction here. So you can snap through your center line as if there's something there, you can snap through it. You got that, Lynn? Sensei, when I try to do the air break, it's hitting no. me anyway. It's okay. hitting my arm. Loosen up your because... and also your string is kind of long. Okay. Okay, so the, those two factors. So look, look at my wrist. I'm, I'm really going, my wrist is going with it. That's the whole idea. But I want you to be able to control that air break and snap that without having to go over here and all the way over here and all the way over here. You should be able to control this. There you go, Johnson School, looking good. Good, feel that, feel that air break. It should not touch you. Gently going a little too far, but as long as you control it, okay? So think about this jelly. When, if you go and you wrap your arm around too much, you can get trapped, right? So for the exercise, it's one thing. For <laughs> as long as you're aware of where your stick is at, right? You can wrap yourself up <laughs> real easy like this, but if you keep it controlled, you know, just two different ways to approach it. Um, if you're swinging out, slow it down here. Okay, so that's the air break. Now, the body break, simple, simple definition body break is any break in rhythm when it touches your body, okay? Whether it's off your arms, off your waist, off your hip, off your foot, off of your head, off of your neck, that's a body break. Anytime it touches your body and changes direction. So now what I want you to feel again in the horizontal direction, hold your nunchaka as if you're holding a katana or baseball bat with your strong hand in the middle, your weaker left hand or direction or either one on the bottom. And I want you to hold this horizontal and bounce it off of your shoulder, somewhere between your shoulder and your tricep muscle. Feel that it should not be a hit. We're not slapping ourselves like this. I'm rolling it over my arm. Rolling around the arm. Correct. It should feel like this. It's just going nice and easy. Okay. We're not so, trying to bruise or punish ourselves. What's that, George? We're not trying to punish ourselves. We're just, right, it's right. rolling or We're not, We're not trailing our pill. It's not part of the game. Okay. So now I want you to experiment with this, Sensei uh, Johnson. I want you to hold it with two hands so that you're now bouncing, Sensei Johnson. <laughs> two hands, one in the drop the tambo. Sensei Johnson, that's you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Two hands. Bounce it off of your arm and then go into air break and then mix it up over your arm and then try putting a circle. A circle, bounce, circle, bounce, circle, bounce, circle, bounce. Johnson School, white belt on the side. Make sure that your, your circle is horizontal like a pizza. Right, Sensei Johnson? Okay, not like a propeller, not like a propeller. This is gonna teach you, notice my stick is at a 45 degree angle, but my pizza, my stick is spinning horizontal. Okay, notice I'm keeping this in real tight. Look at my hands are in real tight. And then I want you to experiment and reach out very much elliptical shape. Reach out, come back, feel the bounce off of your arm. 
actually going to be less self-flagellation. Okay, brown belt in the middle, looking good. Um, DD school. I believe that's DD school, right? Yep, DD school. Okay. White belt, Johnson School in the front. You're going a little too far deep, a little too far back. If I'm going too far back, it's going to smack me in the back. You don't want to smack yourself in the back. Not a good idea. Control it. Just landing it. There you go. Now try making a circle in the middle and bouncing it off your arm. Not a propeller, pizza. Can't do the propeller. Just flat, horizontal, the other way, flat, flat. <laughs> okay, we, we, we want this, um, I'm going to pull out the old trusty new sock chaku, so maybe you can see it better, okay? So let's say, Johnson, what's that student's name in the front? So let's say, Johnson, what's his name? There we go, horizontal. Can you see? There we go. Super hard out here, gentle on your shoulder. When I say horizontal, horizontal, green belt in the back, horizontal, control it. Now go the other way. Other way. There you go. Good. More wrist, more pizza, horizontal. Very good, and try bouncing it off of your arm. Try mixing in body breaks with an air break. It's better to learn how to control this in a horizontal plane than vertical plane because it's gonna hit your head. So now, now try doing a break, air break, not on your body. Air, air. Good. Reach out, George. There you go. Air, air. Air, air, body, body, air, air. Okay, George. Yes, Sensei. I'm going to take him through the uh, twelve basic strikes. Okay. If, that, if I can take take over for for a little bit. Okay. Okay. Um, so I at least want you to be able to walk out of here knowing a forward revert, forward downward figure eight, reverse figure eight, and at least twelve basic strikes without hitting yourself. Okay. Um, from either a short right forward stance or a diagonal stance. I'm going to go through parking lot, okay, over my arm. Remember that spot that I was bouncing it off of on my arm? That's my resting place. That's my parking lot. Reaction hand. The first two strikes. Downward diagonal, right diagonal, left diagonal, and hold it here. This is your air break. That's why we went over the air break. Number three and four, upward diagonal, upward diagonal, and you come back to where you started. That's four strikes. One, two, air break, three, four. Again, one, Two, air break, three, four, back where I started. Try that, 
I want to see everybody do that. Two. Good, Lynn. So Lynn, when you get a little bit longer stick and a little bit shorter string, your stick won't be, you won't have to go like this for your, for your parking lot. You'll be able to keep it a little bit more down here. Right now you have to hold it up here because your string is so long and your stick is a little shorter, right? But when you get ones that fit you, you'll be able to bring it down here. So this is my resting position. One, two, air brake, three, four. Let's see again, Jelly. Good. Good. So, Jelly, you're, you're bringing it back a little bit too far, a little bit too far back. No need to bring it so far back. You're opening yourself up. You can keep yourself, there you go. Bring your right arm a little bit more forward. Good, good, up, good. So, so when you bring that back, you see what's happening? It's kind of slapping in the back a little bit, okay? So you don't need to bring it back so far. Just bring it back to here, resting position. End it, yeah, end it with a little chicken wing. Okay, yeah. So that position, now move your right arm just a little bit more forward. No, no, no. Uh, go back to your resting position there. Okay, now bring your right arm, your right hand more forward so that you're not open like this is what I'm trying to get you to do. Keep you more covered. Um, I'm resting my this stick here, uh, Jelly, right here. So I, I'm trying to, to keep you, in, instead of you bringing it back here, I want, I don't want you to rest this, the string on your shoulder. I want you to rest the stick on your shoulder. You see where I'm at? Okay, good. All right, so again, from the top, stance, reaction hand, right downward, left downward, air brake, upward down. You know I was gonna do that, okay. <laughs> upward diagonal, and back to resting position, three, four, okay? What do you think's next? Horizontal, okay, one, two, from the top, one, two, air brake, three, four, back to resting position, five, six, horizontal, okay? Let's try that again. Downward diagonal, downward diagonal, air brake, upward diagonal, upward diagonal, resting over your arm, horizontal, one, two, five, six. What do you think's next? Vertical, downward one, up, back to resting position. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, I apologize for you getting hurt, okay? You shouldn't have hit your foot like that. Johnson School, girl on the right. Did you hit your knee or was it your foot? Okay, when you go downward, um, it's a, a tambo vertical strike. You're going down from the head to your, through your solar plexus to your groin and then cut out. Don't strike your leg, okay? Your knee, I'm sorry about that, <laughs> okay? Keep it on the outside of your body for white belts. Johnson, Sensei Johnson, your, your white belt on the right side, your, the girl. Nope, other side. Yes, I'm sorry to her knee. And um, tell her to keep it on the outside. You see the outside here? As opposed to hitting my leg, keep it up. There we go. Just for, just for the beginning, until you get the hang of this. I'll go into more of the detail of some of these strikes later, but let's go into... We're halfway through, okay? Starting at the top, again, stance, reaction hand, downward diagonal one, downward diagonal two, air brake, 
upward diagonal, upward diagonal, hold it on the arm, resting on the arm. Horizontal one, horizontal two. Next, vertical strike. Make sure you go to the outside of your body. Downward one, up two. Very good. Makes sense, folks. This is not, not complicated. It's basic strikes, okay? What do you think's next? Sensei Johnson, what do you think's next? The eyes. There you go. Very good. <laughs> okay. Now, striking to the eyes. Okay. Drop into a turtle stance. Knee one, knee two, stand up and again to the eyes. Eyes one way, knee, knee, eyes the other way. Okay. Drop, excuse me. To the, let's take that part again. To the eyes, drop turtle stance, horizontal to the knee one, horizontal to the knee two, stand up, come back to resting position. Let's take that from the top. Again, stance, reaction hand, put your hand somewhere. One, two, air break, three, four, resting position, five, six, horizontal, seven, eight, vertical, nine to the eyes, drop, turtle stance, 10, 11, stand up, 12, come back to resting position. 12 strikes, very similar to your tambo. Just changed a little bit with the air break here. Okay. Little nuance to the nunchaka should be a little bit different than the tambo. Again, let's take that from the top. I really want you to be able to get these strikes. You will look like you know what you're doing with the nunchaka without hitting yourself. Okay. Stance, reaction hand, down one. Down two, air break. Three, four, five, six, horizontal. Seven, eight, vertical. Nine to the eyes, drop turtle stance. 10, 11, stand up. 12, back to resting position. Very good. Go Any see. questions? I think we're all getting it. Cincy Johnson, they're looking good. They're feeling all right. Good. Let's take it from the top one more time. Stance, resting position, green belt. Yes, I'm looking at you. Okay. Downward one, two. Okay. Green belt. Um, this air brake should be down here. And, and I want you to be in this position because this is a really good fighting position, okay? Because you're drawing it from here. So I want you to feel that. Thank you. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Now, up one, back resting place. That's three, four. Come up. Good. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine to the eyes, drop turtle stance, horizontal, horizontal, and backing up to the eyes. It's good. good. Green belt. You don't have to pull that back to here. You can, there you go. Good job. Good job. Um, now let's break off to this uh, vertical strike for a second. Exercise, exercise I want you to try. Um, Watch out for my fan. So that spot that you're in, that you're hitting on the top of your arm, I now want you to find that on the bottom of your arm, the bottom of your tricep. And I want you to keep this on the outside of your body, okay? Bouncing off the top part of your arm and the bottom part of your arm. 
body break. So elbow has to be tapped. Okay. I'm sorry, green belt, uh, brown belt. Okay, so you hit your, yourself in the, in the elbow. DD school, okay? Sorry, DD school. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. So what you want to do, you want to keep that elbow horizontal. If that elbow drops a little bit, you're going to do what you just did and hit your elbow. And that little spot right between the elbow and this bone right here, it hurts a lot. Okay, I've done it enough times <laughs> to know you don't want to hit this part. So elbow out, okay, like, like chicken wings, okay? Good horizontal and bounce that off top and bottom. And only you can feel what's on the top and what's on the bottom. But you're looking for it to go vertical over your arm. Little more wrist, Green Bell. There you go. There you go. Without going too far back, because if you go too far back, you're going to hit yourself in the back of the head. Okay? So control this. Keep it in front. Keep it vertical. Did you hear yourself, Jelly? Try your other arm. If you have it nice. If you feel good with one arm, try the other. Yes, definitely try both arms. Keep your elbows out. This works your shoulders real nice. Okay, good. Now that you have this over under the arm on the outside. Okay, y'all all can see me on the outside. I want you to start focusing that towards your center line. Try focusing this outside. Instead of out here, I want you to focus as if you're coming down over somebody's head, center line. Line, See if you can control that and bring that to your center line. Hold it like you mean it, White Belt Johnson School. There you go. We're looking to come on center line here. Little more center line, Sensei Jelly. Little more center line. So, so we're starting on the outside, right? And then we want to move that strike to the center line. Also, kind of angle. Okay. Now we're going to work on a body break and an air break at the same time. We're going to take that vertical. And we're going to keep it on the outside of our body, right here, outside of your body, right here, over that same spot in the arm, except I'm doing an air break on the downside. This is just vertical strike on the outside of your body. Green belt, reaction hand. There we go. So now we're using break air break. Okay, so from the side, Sensei Johnson, this, can you see me? Okay, so um, I'm breaking off my arm here, okay? And the nunchaka is gonna stop right here. Wrist getting tired, try your other hand. Good. So, what I want you to all to feel is to be able to generate some good power with this on the outside of your body. Take care on the outside of your body so you don't hit your knee. I want you to generate some power where you're able to bounce this off your arm and bring it 
down and up, same speed. Good, white belt, DD school. White belt, DD school in the front. What you have a little more um, in your wrist so that you don't smack it against your, your knuckles, okay? You'll only do that once, <laughs> okay? You wanna, it's, it, it's interesting because it's almost like the, the brake of a car. The harder I, tighter I hold this, the more it's gonna stop. The more I relax, the more it's, it's going to give me speed. So this is an exercise where I'm holding it tight up here, but I'm relaxing at the end. So it doesn't smack me in the knuckles. Okay, hold it a little bit lower, white belt, DD school. A little bit lower. A little bit lower. Good, don't bring it back so far. Just bring it back. You just need to bring it back here. You don't need to bring it back here because what happens is this. You don't want this to happen. It's gonna smack you in the uppercut. Good, try to feel power. and the speed you can generate. Try both Since hands. I can, What's that, George? Since if I can add something, what I'm, what I'm mostly seeing is sometimes people are getting the rope on their body brakes, the ropes hitting that instead of the stick. Right. And that's when it's gonna run around and hit your head or hit your elbow. What that means is you're, you're pointing the stick too far back. Everyone's body's a little different. You're gonna to have to get that feel for it, but bring the tip of it, don't bring it so far back. Swing it up, but stop it. So the stick hits your body, not the rope. You're gonna to need to develop that feel for it, how far your wrist needs to tilt to get that. Thank you, George. White belt, Johnson School, the girl in the front, your left hand, Hold it like you mean it. There you go. Good. Relax on the way down and try to keep a nice vertical. Put your, put your elbow out just a little bit to bounce the stick off of your arm. There you go. Don't go too far back, not too far back. There you go. Remember, we're just working the stick, not, not the string like Sensei George just said. Too far back, too far back, too far back. Better, better, better. Getting it, you feel the difference? Okay. Trying to bounce the stick, not the string. You don't want this coming up, smacking you in the face. And if your string is a little bit long, and sometimes if you pick up, you know, somebody's nunchuck and that string is a little bit longer, this could come up and smack you in the face. There we go. Yeah. So again, this vertical strike on the outside of your arm. Of that, and then I want you to work that to your center line. And then we're going to work an air brake vertical on the outside of our body. And then we're going to work that to our center line. Again, this is just an exercise. This is learning how to control the nunchaka. Center line, vertical strike, and then go to a Kung Nu vertical strike where you're striking all the way from vertical head cut out at the groin. Up, and it should follow the same path. Sensei Johnson, it would be good to interject some uh, tambo work. 
to the white belts to they'll get the idea of the patterns that they're trying to cut with the tambo, interject the tambo in with the training of the nunchaka to complement each. You got that? Did that, you hear that okay? Okay, <laughs> go. <laughs> Brown belt, DD school, um, in the middle. Don't have to bring it so far back, okay? You can, um, sometimes that the, George thinks of, of the, the tip of the stick, but sometimes you can think of the hand. So if my hand goes back here, my stick is gonna be back, back here, okay? Sometimes I only need to adjust and just bring it just up to here instead of here. Better. Okay. Control it on the back, the back swing. Um, brown belt, DD school, center. Okay. Yep. Um, you see how you're you're going back here. With, with, with the stick, um, if I could dem demonstrate it here, you're, you're going back here. Notice my right hand is going back, back past my body. Try just cutting it to here. Better. Just to tighten it up a little bit to give you more speed. Looking for speed and power on this. Don't be afraid to drop your body a little bit. Drop your knees to get some power in that strike. Good, Lynn. Are those foam? Are those foam with chain? Those they are really old foam <laughs> ones. They're padded. <laughs> Girls from way back. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so, so, so Jerry. Yes. Uh, yeah, this is Connie. Uh, I also have the foam nunchakas, and I feel there's really no control with them. So yeah, the problem with, with the, the foam nunchaka is um, they're they basically come in like a 12 inch length. And the problem with that is it, it doesn't give you enough length to go over right. your wrist. It's more like a, that, is that what you're feeling? Yes, and also the string is, uh, is too long and it's not adjustable. It's too long. So what you do is um, you take a zip tie and you connect uh, some of the loops of the chain and that'll tighten it up a little bit for you. Okay. And then okay. if you camp out next year, we'll get you some real nunchaka and it'll be a little, a little easier for you to maneuver because right. it's not a one size fits all. Yeah. Thank you. Sure, sure. Good. Uh, Sensei Johnson, your uh, white belt on the side. Okay. He's coming down with his wrist like this on his vertical and he wants to come down like this. Uh, to your left, to your left, to your left. The gentleman in front, the gentleman in front. Yep, yep, okay. Let me see that vertical again. Better, okay. Okay, now you don't have to bring it so far back. Don't go so far back. Watch the head. Okay, so say Johnson, try to get him to bounce it off of his arm. Doesn't have to go so far back. Too far back, too far back, too far back. Since say Johnson, instead of bringing it to here, bring it, bring it to here, just here.
have him bring his elbow out to the side and you probably don't want to be standing there. There you go. That's it. That's it. More, more thrust on the downward. Get some power on the downward. There you go. Now feel it. Good. Now relax on the downward so that you don't smack your knuckles. I'm not looking for you to smack your knuckles, okay? So you wanna relax down here, relax down here. There you go. Okay, and then work that into your center line. Questions on this vertical. Okay, um, remember Kung Nu? Down through your center line, through the head, solar plex, groin, cut out to the side, come back, same way. Let's go through the 12 basic strikes again. I really like to make sure you get these before we, before we leave. Again, stance, reaction hand, solar plex. We're striking with the right side first. Downward diagonal, downward diagonal, air brake. Upward diagonal, upward diagonal, parking lot. Horizontal, horizontal, come back to where you started. Vertical, downward one. Up two, to the eyes, nine, turtle stance, 10, 11 to the knees, stand up, 12, back where you started. It should give you a good exercise to practice at home or in your dojo when you're warming up for the nunchuckle or your tambo, just to work both at the same time. Might as well work some. Uh, figure eights, reverse, loosen up your wrist, get ready for class, practice your basic strikes, tambo and nunchaka. Again, stance, solar plex, reaction hand, downward diagonal, one, two, up, three, four, horizontal, one, two, vertical, downward, one, up, two, to the eyes, drop, Turtle stance, knees, knees, back to the eyes, stand up, and you're where you're started. When you get a little bit more comfortable with this, you can add a jab in the front, jab in the back. I'm not as concerned about that for right now. I just wanna make sure you get at least the 12 basic strikes. Forward, uh, downward figure eight, reverse figure eight, and you'll be ready for the advanced class next year. <laughs> Sensei George, handing it back to you. Sensei Thanks, George. Sensei. Uh, I would add, I would add uh, part of the feel you're going to get, which I think is really hard to get with those foam nunchaku, is as you're putting power into it, they're going to feel heavy in your hands. You're creating that centrifugal force. But when you're relaxing towards your body, it's going to feel very light in your hands. And so if you're not, if you're feeling like there's the same weight or pressure of the nunchaku through the whole swing, <laughs> that means you're not extending and getting that power out there and you're doing it too hard by your body. So it should feel a little bit as you come through your target, it feels really heavy in your hands. But as you're bringing it back to do a body break, air break, it'll feel like a butterfly in your hands. And so Getting that feel is going to protect your body and extend that power. Yeah, an airplane just went by, so sorry about that. Um, that's why a lot of the foam nunchakus aren't so fun to are useful to play with because you can't feel that weight with them. Um, I don't, I don't, I prefer people to practice with these if they can. Not in the house though, around the lights. <laughs> I busted a few myself. Yeah. Guilty. 
My sister wasn't too impressed. Um, want to go to the pass catch? Ready for me? Okay. You have strikes. You have uh, patterns. You also have pass catches. Simple pass catch. You're you're passing it from one hand to the next, and it's just a simple transition. So what I'd like you to do now is uh, rest the nunchaka over, over your neck or something. Just put them away. Your right hand up and down. Okay, this is very similar to the the first uh, vertical strike that we were just doing on the outside. Same motion. Okay, left hand up and down. Good. Now take your right hand is up. Okay, take your left hand, put your knuckles to your elbow. Okay, left hand up, right hand, knuckles to the elbow. Right hand up, left hand, knuckles to the elbow. Right hand, excuse me, left hand up, right hand, knuckles to the elbow. Um, make sure your thumbs are flat. Your hand must be a, a good knife hand. Um, you'll only do this once, <laughs> okay? Right hand up, left hand, knuckles to the elbow. Left hand up, right hand, knuckles to the elbow. Right hand up, left hand, knuckles to the elbow. Left hand up, right hand, knuckles to the elbow. Right hand up, left hand, knuckles to the elbow. Right hand, grab your nunchaka. Right hand, grab your nunchaka. Okay. We're going to bring that right hand up, left hand, knuckles to the elbow. What I'm looking to do here is cover my elbow and bring that nunchaka right into my hand. And then I'm going to drop my right hand and bring my left hand up, right hand, knuckles to the elbow. Good. Drop left hand, right hand. Up, left hand, knuckles to the elbow. Drop right hand, left hand up, right hand, knuckles to the elbow. And try to get into a rhythm. What you're looking to do here is um, you don't want to do this. These are common mistakes where you're bringing it too far back. And the reason why I don't want you to bring it too far back is because if you miss, you're going to hit yourself with an uppercut in the chin. So I want you just to bring this hand just up to here. This should be horizontal with the ground. This should be at your elbow. That's why the length of your nunchaka makes a difference so you can maneuver around without getting fumbled because they're too small or too large for that matter. So um, this motion here, is that same vertical on the outside that we did before, same, same strike. So we're bringing this right hand up, left hand knuckles to the elbow, left hand up, right hand knuckles to the elbow. Greenbelt and Middle Johnson School, um, you're bringing a little bit too far back and it's probably because they're a little small for you, okay? So just be, be aware of that. You don't want to go too far back. You want to keep it more here. That makes sense. Yep, I'm talking to you. Greenbelt in the middle. Johnson School, yep. Keep going. Okay, yeah, those are a little tight for you. You see how you're having to work real tight? The yellow ninchaga in Johnson School. There you go. Yep, that's you. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> you're having, you don't want to bring it so far back. Try to keep it a little bit more horizontal here is, is the idea. Um, and that's going to come from getting some ninchaga that fit.
And this translates into all kinds of stuff here, which we'll go into a little bit more advanced. Okay, so you have some patterns to work on, downward figure eight, reverse figure eight, um, 12 basic strikes and pass catch. So now to this pass catch, excuse me, show you something, one of the first moves I saw Grandmaster Quinn do uh, with a ninja trigger. <clears throat> and that was this pass catch, but he added an extra spin. Okay, and this extra spin, as you work this exercise, it really helps your snap in your empty hand techniques, okay? Um, it's almost uh, like to show speed, but it's a really great exercise uh, to work in to your schedule. So it's a double spin. Instead of just doing a vert one single vertical strike, just do an extra spin. Try it. Okay, white belts, Johnson School. I see you're having some trouble. Yes, you, okay? So instead of what's happening is your nunchucker are going out to the side. So when you bring it back, the next one keeps trying to hit you in the back, right? That's because your arm is going out to the side instead of going vertical up and down. So it's almost like from here, as I let my right hand go, my left hand drifts down, okay? And then I snap it up. And then my right hand drifts down, and then I snap it up. My left hand drifts down, then I snap it up. And this, this motion here really works this muscle right here. If you're not feeling it in this muscle here, you're doing something wrong. You should be feeling that snap. Okay, try. On your left side, it, you're coming, it wants to hit you in the back. There you go, a little more vertical. Okay, think of it on the outside of your body. The outside of your body, we're just keeping it away from our head right now. Okay, away from my head. Okay, don't get sloppy with this technique. Make sure your fingers are together. You'll only do this once. Hitting the tips of your finger is not fun. Good. Good. White belt, Johnson School, looking good. Gentlemen on the side, looking good. Keep going, keep going. Good, try to catch them in the same spot each time. That's it, girls. Yeah. Brown belt, DD school, center. Okay, try to make that snap both strikes through center line. Okay, we're not just swinging out here somewhere and swinging out here. We want both those strikes to go snapping through center line.
Okay, Brown Belt DD School. To get the, the benefit of this exercise, I see how you're going around with your arm like this, which is one exercise. But what I'm trying to get you to do for this is um, as I bring this around, I'm snapping. Notice my hand is staying right here. I'm snapping it right here, not bringing it around again. Excuse me, my cat. Um, I'm snapping it. Snap, 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 snap. There you go. There you go. You feel the difference in your wrist? It's a really good wrist warm up. Try to hit center line both. Good. White belt in the back in DD school, uh, you're gonna have trouble. Those nunchuck will look a little short for you. Sensei, just to let you know, we have about eight minutes. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna, we have eight minutes left. I'm gonna throw this one out there for you, okay? We're going to try the figure eight and a half. Normally, we're doing a downward figure eight, okay? What I wanna see is an extra spin, and we're gonna do that on the outside of our body, okay? If you're holding in the right hand, it's on the right side of your body. It's an extra spin in your wrist. If you take your nunchuck out of your hand, your downward diagonal, your downward figure eight is doing a knife hand, knife hand, chop, chop. Right, Sensei Johnson? We're doing a chop, chop with a downward figure eight. Now what I'm looking for is a chop, chop, ridge hand. Chop, chop, ridge hand. It's an extra spin on the outside. So normally we're doing two spins, a circle here and a circle here. What I wanna see is a circle, circle, and come around again. Can you all see that? This is a regular figure eight. Regular figure eight. This is a figure eight and a half. Let's see, Lynn. Okay, relax that wrist a little bit more coming around, Lynn. Make that a ridge hand. There you go, that's it. Your elbow should be pointing up to the ceiling. Nice brown belt DD school center. But what you want to try to do is you want to try to bring all of those strikes to your center line. So it's not like my strike, my third strike is out here. I want all strikes to my center line. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three.
see some more Sensei Johnson. You almost had it. Four minutes, relax a second, another demonstration. If we take, this is a three-dimensional figure eight. If I take this figure eight that I'm doing, reverse figure eight, and I turn that on a 45 degree angle, and I turn that on another 45 degree angle, we're doing a horizontal figure eight. If I take that on another 45 degree angle, and then another 45 degree angle, I'm doing a downward figure eight. Nothing up my sleeve. Take that on another 45 degree angle, another 45 degree angle, we're doing a reverse horizontal figure eight. Reverse. Another 45 degree angle, and I'm back to where I started. Didn't change my hand, didn't change my body, just learning to control that three dimensional figure eight. You already have more of it than you realize because you have the downward figure eight. And the difference here is once it gets past 45 degrees this way or, or 45 degrees this way, it then turns into a horizontal how the, different technique, which we can go over in the advanced class. And the reverse part, is here. So you have the downward part and the reverse part, and we'll fill in the blanks in the advanced class. Okay. Um, I think we're about ready, George. Yeah. Looks like people are, are popping out. Thank you for joining us. Um, thank you, Sensei George. And again, congratulations on your promotion. Um, thank you for your assistance. And um, great to see you girls in California. <laughs> Bye, all. See you, everyone. <laughs>